Okay. So in this class, we have a non-static variables. C1 is one non-static variable, which has a private access modifier. F1 is a non-static variable, which has a default access modifier. D is another uh, non-access, uh, non-static variable, which is having a protected access modifier. I is a, another non-static variable, or instance variables. These are all non-static or instance variables. So what are all these? Non-static non or instance variables. Instance variables. Instance. Instance variables. So this is a non-static methods or instance methods. Non-static or instance. Instance method. Okay. So, so how to call this in the main method? Because this is the main is a static. These are non-static. Both are different category. So that's why you can, if we call directly, so it will throw error. Can you see that? If we call directly, this the method name if we call like static method. If I call directly in the main method, it will throw error. See the error. So what is the error? Read this. Mouse over here and read this. Compilation error we are getting. What is the error? I cannot make a static reference to the non-static method. Uh, cannot make a static reference to the non-static method type casting demo from the type non-static members. Okay, that's so with what it is saying clearly. Don't call the non-static uh, non methods directly, directly in main method or any static method in this type. Even non-static variable also, you cannot call directly in the same class or in another class or in some other class, it doesn't matter. Everywhere, same process. You cannot call directly. Now, but how to call them? How to call this? So let's see how to call them. We'll see. I told you already to call non-static variables and non-static methods. Object you need to, to create an object. Create an object. Class. Create an object. Create an object. Class. The class. So what is our class name? Stat static member. Non-static member. What is our class name? Non-static. Non-static non member. Non-static member. So that class name. That class name you have to give it here. So how can you create our using? New new class new keyword keyword or operator we call this new keyword or operator we call this then what is the syntax of object creation syntax class class name reference of new class name parenthesis parenthesis semicolon so you need to understand here each part. So let's understand each part. So what is this? What class, call name. This? class name? Class is a non-primitive data. Type. One by one, I am writing. So left side onwards, I am coming one by one. What is this? Non-primitive data. Non-primitive data type. Data type. Data type. Class. Okay. Non-primitive data type. Class. Next uh, reference of it's a local variable. Object reference. Object reference variable. Which pointing to object. So reference variable holds. Address of Object. What's the address of object. Object. Keep memory object. Keep memory. Keep memory. Let's say integer number. Okay, so that's one. 
Next, what is the assignment operator? Equals what it will do? Equals to. Yeah. What it will do? It will operator. copy right, right side. Right side. Left side. Copies the right side variable. Left side variable. Left side variable. I'm explaining each and every part in this slide. You should not forget, okay? Yes. So new. So next, what is the keyword? New keyword. New. Which is an operator used to create an object. Object for the class. Every time you call new, what will happen? New object will be created. Which is an operator used to create to create new object. object. Create new object for the class. New object for the class in heap memory. In heap memory. Heap memory. Next class name parenthesis. So what do you call this? This is a default constructor. What is this? What do you call this? Class default one? constructor. Default constructor. So, which is going to be created by compiler by default. Even see, we don't have a constructor here. So where is the constructor here? If constructor is not in the class, compiler will create one default constructor. Compiler will create a default constructor for every class if it is not available. In the class. Okay? So you, you need to buy hard this every point. Now, what do you call this? This entire thing. This is called object. So this is called object. So what do you call this? Object. Object. A new object. This entire thing is called new object. Every time you are using a new keyboard, a new memory new will be created. So new object is created in the heap memory. Mm -hmm. So this entire thing is called object. So are you all clear on this? What yes. is meant by this every word in this? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's go and create the. So follow this. What is our class name? Follow this. First class name. So put the class name. Then space is there. Can you see here? Space is there. Then you are a friend's variable. NSM OBJ equal to new class name parenthesis. This is the constructor. So, this is the how you can create an object for the class, but this is a local variable also called. This is local, right? Inside the method, main method, see data type, variable name equal to this is the value. value. That means this is the local to this method only. Can I use this NSM OBJ in another method? No. No, sir. It does not a local variable. Local variable. So, local variable you can use only in this method only. Till here only you can use. Not outside the method. So, now how to call the non static methods? So, here is the one. So, we have a blog, nice blog, explained very clearly and go here. See this. Can you see here? Yes, sir. How can you access, execute non-static members under main method, any other static method? First step, what is that? Create an object for the class. class. How to create an object for the class using new keyword. New so how to create an object syntax? Class name. Class name. Class name. Class name. Class name. To new class class name. name. So what is the reference variable? If a variable so point variable to belongs object, to an object, it's called reference variable or reference of object. Reference variable holds the address of the address object. object. 
and how to solve the non static methods reference variable non static how to call the non static variable reference variable non static variable so now you got the difference right between static and non static static you can call directly you don't need object but non static we have to create an object you can create a class then that object dot non static method non static method here and see the first scenario in the same class how to call non static numbers so this is the first step what is the first scenario how can you call non static void method under main method in the same class what is the answer Object reference What is the object reference here? NSMOBJ. NSMOBJ. That is the one you are NSMOBJ. See, non-static method type casting demo. See, now errors are gone. How we are calling object reference dot non-static method. See, all the code is executed. Okay. Now, so what is the next next formula? How can you call non-static void parameter method and the main method in the same way? What is the answer? Object reference is not non-static method means variable. Right. So non-static method. Object reference. What is the object reference? NSM. Call this NSM OBJ dot. Non -stop. Any any integer numbers you pass it. So here two only, only two parameters we took for that method. So two parameters only give. So next, what is the next formula? How can you call return type non static method under return type? Non static method in the main method. So, what is the formula? Data type of, Data the, method. Type of the method variable, variable, variable name equal, equal to object, object reference dot type non static, non -static method. method. Okay. So, data type of the method is integer. I want integer value. So, rand value equal to object. object reference. What is the object reference? Get random integer value. So, random integer value is plus. Brand value. Random it is how much we got? Seven. Next thing. Seven. More time. What we got? 84. 84. So every time it is going to change new values. 38. That's a random. One to hundred only it will generate. But I asked the program. Did you write? All of you? Did you write? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And I'll speak after the class. Okay. Okay, sir. So, how to call return type non static method in the print statement? System dot out. See that? System dot out dot print first. So, the max value is. For reference, what is he? Very, very clearly plus after reference. Follow this line by word by word. So reference is NSM OBJ dot max. Get max float value. So give the float value at five point one two and. Uh,
Now it will return for us which one is the max value. 5.123 is the max value. This is all the return type methods how to call. Either you can store in the variable or you can print here. I am going to use this variable in my calculations. This variable I am going to use here. Let me use. Now I am going to explain the how this memory is allocated. Okay, how this memory is allocated in the heap. I'll show you the with the diagram. Please understand here. So with the same object, why you are able to call all the members of that class, non-static members? So I'll show you. So last one, let's call this uh, non-static uh, variables. How to call? Okay, non-static variables. How to call? So let's call this. So non-static variable we can call this. I'm going to uh, call all these variables. All these, we have a double, we have a float, integer character, right? So integer plus float value when you add, what is the output you will get? Double data you will get or float value will get. So result equal to NSMOBZ dot NSMOBZ dot plus NSMOBZ dot D minus NSM OBZ dot plus integer. This is our calculation. See how we are calling the non static variables here? Object reference dot variable. Object reference dot 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 variable. Non static variable. This is the only difference you need to get. Static variables, how you are calling. Non static variables, how you are calling in the main method. This is the crucial. So, if you get that clarity, and we are good. Okay. Now, uh, sum of C1, F1, D, D, I is plus result. So this is the output. But how can I call directly? I want to print the variable, non-static variable. How can you print non-static variable? Object reference dot non-static variable. Non-static variable of C1. I want to print C1 value. So how can you call? Hmm? Object reference dot. Dot. C1. 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 Again, why you are forgetting? Here we already did here, right? Any non static, Neil and Haripriya, are you clear? Yes, Any non static variables, if you want to call, what is the one you need to use? Create object, Create object. object reference dot non static, non -static. Non -static. Non -static. Non -static. So this is the concepts we need to use. Anywhere, this is a common, common See, a value got it. Now, so that is done. Let me explain the memory, how it is allocating the memory. So how it is allocating the memory. Let me show you. See, how it is going to allocate the memory. So I'll take example so let me show you the memory this is the very please pay attention here so very very important so this is the memory heap memory and this is the stack memory so this is the heap memory So what about this? This is the stack. 
<clears throat> so basically when you create object okay when you create object so in this object so when you create object the memory occupies like this one memory will create one more object if we create one more memory will create one more memory will create like this in the heat memory each time you create a new object a new memory will be created like this it will occupy where is you know it comes to stack memory all the local data so all the local data this is the each frame will create for one method invocation so this is the first main method we are calling it so main method so main method invocation is happening here main method invocation is happening there and this so are what are the methods you are calling under main that method of frame that method of frame that way each method one frame will create now here so all the variables like you have a c1 right c1 equal to a next what is the next variable f1 equal to some value right what are the value i'm just giving uh, what is the value f1 we have given 3.4 whatever it is not a problem and then d equal to 25.34 and then i equal to 20 whatever it is the values this time i'm giving example here then the methods all the methods will store here so the methods are type casting demo so what is the second method Max. So this is the how your memory will be filled. So this is the one you created. What is the one you created? You created like a uh, new. What is that? New non-static. Non-static. Subject is referred by a variable. What is that variable? That's a local variable, right? Local variable will store in which memory? Main memory. Huh? Stack memory. Stack memory. Why are you forgetting? Local variables will store in the stack memory. Stack memory. Objects will store in the heap memory. Heap runtime memory. data. This is called runtime data. Or objects we call this. If you create one more object, that object also will go and store here. So this object also will go and store in the local variable. Because if you take local variable, local variable. So. The object value. So maybe I, if I give a different, uh, suppose I give a num object, I'll give a different. Okay. Uh, I can give n m d o b z different object reference variable. I'm giving. These are all local to main method. That's it. That method inside they stored here. And you are calling one more method here. That method will come here. So suppose type casting demo method. You are invoked, right? Invoked by so this main method and that frame. All the local data of this method will come and store in this frame. In this frame, this is one frame. Once this method execution is over, this will be deleted. That's why 
type testing method or demo is executed, that local variables in that method is not accessible in another method. Because of this only, it will clear. It will clear. But this one is available. This one is available throughout the class. So the, uh, until this object is available, the data is available. Instantly, it will allocate a memory and you, you can use it anywhere. So this is the how memory will be allocated. This uh, memory is different. This memory is different. If we ask object 1 and object 2, for example, NSM OBJ equal to NMD OBJ, is it the same or uh, different? No, sir, different. different. That's a different. Both this memory address is different. This yes. memory address is different. This memory address, maybe you got, uh, for example, three, four, five, six. And this memory address, you will get uh, like two, seven, eight, nine, like this. Both are different, different addresses. That's why NSM OBJ double equal to NMD OBJ. If they ask you, what is the answer you have to give? False. Always it written say false. It's not seen. Both memories are different. So you have to say false. That's our only literal question. They will create a two objects and they will ask to compare. So let me create that. Everybody clear this? Please make a note yes. and take a note of this. Yes. Even I can create object here also for this. One more object. Same class. New non-static members. Another, another object. The same class you are creating. So this memory is different. So this memory is different. This is one. Okay. So this memory is different. This memory is different. So this memory is referred by this reference variable. And this memory is referred by this reference. So which memory, which values you want to call, you have to use that reference variable to call that all these objects. These are all small, small objects in this big memory. If you want to call this memory members, you have to use this reference variable. So that's how you can call it. Okay. So did you all take the snapshot of this? Yes, sir. One second. Yes, sir. One second, sir. One, One second. second, sir. Just a print a screen. There is a print screen will be there in the your screen, your keyboard. Then press it and put it in the paint. Automatically, it will be you no know, pasted in the paint. And then you can uh, save it. So print screen PRTSC will be there in your keyboard key. Press it and open the paint. Paste that in the paint. And then save it. Okay. Clear? Okay, sir. Okay, now how can you get this integer number? This integer number. And this integer number, I'll show you now. Okay, let's go quickly and I'll clear this. Let's go and close this and we'll go here. See, how to get this uh, reference variable address? How to get reference object memory value? Memory address. How can you get? What is the answer? So there is an object class, object class, non-static method, hash code method. What is the method? Hash code method you need to use. So which returns a return type method. This also returns a integer value. Returns integer value. That means return type method, how can you call? Data type of the method. Variable. So 
memory address one equal to NSM OBZ dot hash. See that hash what method is available in which class? Sorry. So what is the written type of this method? Integer. That's why I have written integer here. Integer reference variable equal to NSM OBZ dot hash code method. This is how you can get the memory address. NSM OBZ memory address is let's print this well. See, now you'll get a uh, one integer number you'll get. See, this is the integer number you got it. So let's call next. I'm going to create one more object. Let me create one more object. Create one more object. So how to create the same class name, right? So what is the class name? This one, I'll take the same thing. I'll change the reference variable, okay? I'll change the reference variable. NMD, I'll put NMD, NMD. NMD object. So can you get NMD object address? NMD. Um, well, I'll store in the variable first. The return type, right? This is the return type. So in teaser, NMD memory address. Address equal to NMD hash code. So NMD NMD object heap memory address. What is the value where it is stored in this local variable? Mm -hmm. There I am going to stop. Now you can see what is the this memory address. Is it same? This one and this one is same. No. Different. Different. Then you can compare now. So how can you compare two integer numbers? Comparison operator. How can you compare two integer numbers? Comparison. Double equal to comparison. Double equal to comparison. Using double equal, double equal to. to. So what it will return for you? Boolean value. Returns Boolean, Boolean value. value. Boolean value. So Boolean B equal B. to NSM. B. Oh, no, no, no. NM, NM. Memory address one. You need to compare memory address one. Double equal to NMD memory address. So this is the how you can compare. Which written say? Boolean value. Compared both objects memory. In a forming. Okay. See what is the answer? False means it is not same. So that's the how to call. And uh, I'm ending this here. I'll, uh,